Here, a Shakespeare sonnet. All right. Sweet love, renew thy force, be it not said, thy edge should blunter be than appetite, which but today by feeding is allayed. <laughs> okay. All right. It has converted your sonnet into sparse notes, <laughs> as you can see. Let's see how it goes. You know what it sounds like? It sounds like a little kid just jumping on the piano. I got a rhythm out. I'm too damn lazy right now to continue, so I would ask it to continue on my behalf. Mm -hmm. And then temperature represents how much creative license I want to give. It's like, how crazy do you want to get? Let's tell it to generate. Generating, making music. I can just imagine a robot. You know what? Whatever they're doing could probably take us a few hours and they've just done it in a few seconds. <laughs> so, ta da! Wow, okay. Right? Let's listen to it. Let's hear it. That's what we did. Okay. <laughs> it essentially just kind of does that and then you realize mm -hmm. that you don't like it. Mm -hmm. You could tell it to do it again. <laughs> you know? And it won't complain, right? And it won't complain. <laughs> so in, in many ways, you might not even need to be musical. You just need to have some level of taste to make music uh -huh. if this is what you really want to stick into. Are you ever scared that AI might take over, you know, your job as a songwriter? No. I'm not afraid no? of that, no. Evidently, to me, the computer can variate for you, mm -hmm. but it's very mathematical still yes. to me, right? Yeah. So that's when I think the human comes in. So I still find it quite collaborative at this point. Um, but clearly, we're the decision makers. Mm -hmm. um, so in that sense, maybe we have a little, just a little bit more autonomy than it does. All right. So, so, <laughs> so fifty, maybe fifty-one, forty-nine kind of thing. Sort of, Cause, yeah. Because we're telling you what 50, to do. Also, exactly. Right? Pretty much. Yeah. Sweet love. Renew thy force. 